I got the feeling that I was different when I was the only one holding a white stick. I ran seven marathons on seven continents within seven days. I did a PhD, qualifies Ireland's first visually impaired solicitor. Growing up for me in my household was very normal because within my family, we're all visually impaired. Whereas then going to school, it wasn't normal because I was the only person with a vision impairment. PE was never an option for me. <laughs> because I wasn't included, I was always told not to run because I'd fall and hurt myself. I had a very lonely schooling. I was always left sitting on the pee bench. I didn't do any sport until my 30s. When you're going through a lot of suffering and a lot of pain, you don't really think about, oh, this is going to make me resilient because all you want is the pain and the suffering to end. Like, I can't control how I was born, but I can control how I live my life. For you to have a dream, you have to see it first. Choose to be visionary, not blind.